All right, we're going to try to tackle uh, Calc AB 2004 Form B number 6 in this video. Um, and the first question, or the first part of that question, is really just to uh, evaluate this definite integral, which might be one of the easier questions that's ever been on the free response. Um, so, you know, reverse power rule. We get that. Uh, I have to evaluate it at 0 and 1. Um, so I do. Uh, evaluated at 1, and then I'm going to subtract the evaluation at 0, and simplify to get that. That's really all there is to it. Uh, there's one little thing that people occasionally will screw up um, on problems of this sort, but probably not on this particular one. X is a variable, and so that's where you have to evaluate. Um, don't try to substitute in for N, um, but not many people do that here. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we actually want to figure out the area of this little region. Um, if you read the problem, you'll see exactly what it is. And uh, it's a triangle, um, you can see. So if we knew those two points, uh, we'd actually know the base, and we would know that the height is obviously 1. Um, so what we need to do is figure out uh, that missing point that I haven't quite labeled yet. Um, and that right there is the tangent to y equals x to the n at the point 1, 1. So we're going to write the equation of that tangent line. So I find the derivative um, using the power rule. Bring it down, subtract 1. I need to evaluate that at x equals 1, which gives me just n. Uh, I'm going to write the equation of the tangent line in point-slope form, which is useful. Now I need the x-intercept. So the x-intercept means that y equals 0. And if y equals 0, I get this, negative 1 equals um, n times the quantity x minus 1. I need to solve that for x. Um, so I go ahead and do that. Um, so now I know the coordinates of both of those points. Um, so what I'm going to do is find the area of the triangle. So that's going to be 1 half. And then the base times the height. So the base actually goes from, uh, you know, from here to here. So that's this. And then the height. Um, and then simplify that to get this. And that's what they told me to show that it was equal to. So done with that part. Um, let's move on to the next part. The next part's probably the most challenging part. Because what we're trying to find is uh, the area of that other region. Um, and the way that I view it, it's this big region minus that region. So we're going to do the big region minus the small region. And that turns out to be the answer to part A minus the answer to part B. Um, so let's call that a function. And I'm rewriting it with the negative exponents here um, to make taking the derivative a little easier. So I'm going to use the uh, power rule with the chain rule there, but the derivative of m plus 1 is just 1, so nothing shows up. Um, power rule there. Uh, simplify this a little bit, because uh, I need to find the zeros of this thing, which... Uh, that's, that's not easy, or it's not the easiest thing that uh, you'll ever be asked to do. Um, so if it equals 0, then I know that the numerator is equal to 0, which means uh, manipulate some stuff. Um, now I just moved it around and expanded, uh, kept going with that, I'm trying to get something that I can find the zeros of. Uh, here I had to use a quadratic formula, because I knew I wouldn't be able to factor it. Um, simplify that a bit to get this. Um, there's an issue because I have to be between 0 and 1 um, and 1 minus radical 2 is not between 0 and 1. So the only critical point on the interval is 1 plus radical 2. It's when n equals 1 plus radical 2. Um, so now I'm going to write up my answer. Um, so a prime is 0 and a prime changes sign from uh, positive to negative. Uh, so to say from positive to negative there. I'm not really going to add that in. Uh, but you should make sure you add that in. Um, so the area must be a maximum for that value of n. Um, so that's what I would do on this one. Uh, you'll notice that I screwed up. Probably lost a point there. Um, so don't do that. But anyway, I hope this is, uh, helpful. It's really just, uh, the algebra in this, uh, kind of greenish area here that, uh, is kind of murderous on this particular problem. But, uh, I hope, uh, hope that's helpful. Good luck.